Welcome back to the Teams training videos. This video is going to teach us how to navigate a Teams meeting. So we'll be going through a quick overview of the Teams meeting experience. So let's get right to it. We are now in the Teams interface within the calendar portion. If you go into, for example, a weekly manager meeting that we have, click join. Here are different join options. So we can choose to join with the video on, we can choose to join with audio on, and we can also choose which devices we wanna use for the speaker, microphone, and camera. If we click join now, it will connect us to the Teams meeting. Now we're waiting for other managers to join the meeting, but wanna go through the different options that you have down here on this toolbar. So first of all, you can again turn your camera on if you wish. You can mute yourself if you have another person presenting or for example, you join a meeting with a lot of participants already and you don't want any background noise. You can share content here. You can choose to share your entire desktop or you can also share specific documents, maybe a PowerPoint. You can share your whiteboard even if you wish. If you click on the three dots here, you can also see the device settings. So again, the options that you had to join the meeting, you can change those at any time during the meeting when it comes to your speaker, your microphone, your camera. There's also meeting notes. So if you have a bi-weekly meeting, for example, you will always have these notes present so that you don't forget to follow up on the action items from last week for example, it'll always be there for you. You can go into meeting details and it will give you the title of the meeting, the time, the day that it occurs, the dial in if you have one, agenda, or any details that you decide to put into the meeting, and then again, the link to the meeting below. You can choose to enter full screen if you wish and just simply press escape to exit full screen. You can have a keypad here for your convenience. You can also choose to start recording. If you start recording, you should always tell the rest of the people in the meeting that you're about to start recording just so that they're aware. And then you can also turn off incoming video if you wish. We're going to get more into the conversation and chat in a different video, but the last piece is you can also show the participants. So as you can see, I'm currently in the meeting, but I'm still waiting on Dr. G and Dr. Watt who are both a part of our weekly manager meeting. That's a little bit about the basics on how to navigate a Teams meeting. Thanks for joining.